Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you creative ways that you can use gel polish besides on your nails. I'm going to show you three different ways. Two of them I've done before and I use all the time, but one of them I haven't tried before so we're going to see how that turns out. The first way that you can use gel polish other than on your nails is by using it on a padlock so that you know it's yours. When I was studying beauty, um, we were all given the same exact padlock so that was the first time I tried decorating it um, so that I know which locker is mine and then when I started going to the gym again it's just easier to find where your locker is when you've made it really bright or glittery so I personally have already decorated my padlocks this one is my husband so I'm going to decorate his one for him so that he finds it easier to find his locker when he goes to the gym and the colour that I'm going to go for is this one by Madame Glam. It's called Neon Lime Green. Green is my husband's favourite colour. And I love that this is bright. It's a bright neon colour. So when he goes to the gym, into changing rooms, he's going to see straight away which locker is his. So let's get started. So I'm thinking of outlining the locker. I'm going to do one line at a time so that I don't find it too tricky. Look at how bright that is. It's so nice. I'm going to keep doing like long strokes. Obviously it doesn't have to be perfect, but that's one line done. I'm going to cure that so that it doesn't move while I do the other side. Oh, am I going to find this tricky? No, it should be fine. I'm going to do the bottom line. I was going to cure one line at a time, but... I don't think there's any need for it. If you do make any mistakes, you can grab a cotton bud and wipe off any bits that you're not happy with, if you wanted. So I'm gonna cure this so that I'm able to do the other edges. Okay, so I've cured this in the lamp. I'm now gonna do this edge here. Whoops. And then turn it around carefully and do the other side like that and then I'm going to cure again. So that's one side done. Before I move on to the other side I'm going to grab this Madame Glam top coat. I'm going to go over those lines and cure with the top coat just to sort of secure it in place. So it's just to seal everything in. Keep it nice and glossy as well. I'm going to do all four corners together and then cure that. So the top coat is now cured. I'm going to take some uh, rubbing alcohol onto cotton wool. So that is one side done. You can leave it there, but I'm going to do the other side as well. I want to tell you about this two-day event that Madame Glam is having. On the 20th and 21st of January, you will get 50% off if you use my discount code. All you need to do is click the link in the description box below that I've provided for you. The code will automatically be introduced. Um, all you need to make sure of is that you have a minimum of three items in your basket and to tick the pay as you go option at the checkout. Um, the code is MELIS50JAN. All of the details about this event will be in the description box below for you. So that's the other side done. I'm now gonna cure that. It was harder to do all the four lines at the same time. It is better to do two at a time. Now I wanna paint this side and this side and I think that's it and then I'm done. I'm gonna have to do one side at a time with this. I'm gonna cure that. And it's all done. I did the other corners off camera. So now it's all outlined. And when he goes into the locker room, he's just gonna find it straight away without thinking which locker it was and trying to remember what number it was, etc., etc. Okay, next. I'm gonna describe a scenario and tell me if you relate. I buy a bottle of water, because you know I wanna stay hydrated at work. And then one of the other girls at work buys the exact same bottle of water. And then it's like, oh, is that your water? Is that my water? One of us ends up peeling the wrapper off and then forget who peeled their wrapper off, who did, do you know what I mean? I feel like that always happens to me anyway. So the way I use gels is, again, similar to the whole locker 
the padlock thing where you're marking that it's yours, I paint the lids a colour and I know that it's mine. And then a lot of the time, if I buy like the same brand of water, which I tend to do, I just take that cap off and put it on my new water bottle because it fits, it's the same brand. I like to use the opposite colour, like I wouldn't go in with the lime green because they're very similar. I like to do something that's very opposite so it stands out. So I'm going to use the colour Barbie Girl, which is a neon pink, also by Madame Glam. I just paint a circle really. <laughs> Doesn't have to be neat, nothing like that. I'm going to cure that in the lamp and I'm going to do a second coat just so the colour really pops out. I've done another coat of colour and then a top coat. I'm now going to wipe the top coat, you don't, honestly I don't really do top coat with this, um, it's perfectly fine without doing it, but for this video I've just done it, just to see the difference as well, it does feel smoother with a top coat, without the top coat it looks more matte, um, and it feels slightly different, so I do prefer it with the top coat, but yeah, now I know that that is my water bottle, and no one's going to drink out of it, now, there are so many ways you can use it. You can decorate photo frames, jars, candle holders, notebooks, anything. Um, now, I haven't tried that. So I've got this candle, and yeah, it's nice and neutral, which I love, but I want to decorate it a little bit and see what it looks like. My house is, majority is neutral. There are pops of colour here and there. So I've got these neutral colours. I've got... This one, this nude, which is called Pivot. And then I've got like this creamy color, which is called Smelly Cat. I'm thinking of doing like lines at the bottom of the jar. This is gonna be time consuming, but I'm gonna see what it looks like. Now, of course you can use any colors you want. You can use three colors as well. You can add the pink in there, like the nudes and the pink. But I'm gonna do these two just to stick to the neutral theme that's in my house. That's one line done. Why does it look so blobby? Like really thick on the sides. Do you know what? It's handmade decoration, so I'm gonna cure that. Should I do another line here? And then do the whites. I could do that. So I can do like three lines at a time. So I'm gonna cure that and then do the white in between. And then I'm gonna go in with the colour Smelly Cat between those <laughs> it's cute this is what it's looking like so far I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna go about halfway put the top coat on and then I'll keep you updated because I'm gonna watch something or listen to some music while I'm doing this look how cute it is it's just giving it a little something something and that top coat gives it that glazed look really nice I like it I'll definitely try this again. So that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and you found some helpful tips. Don't forget on the 20th and the 21st of January, Madame Glam are having this two day event. Click that link in the description box below. The code will automatically be applied. Just make sure that you've got a minimum of three items in your basket. I do have loads of Madame Glam videos on my channel. I've been using Madame Glam for years um, and I've got loads of videos where I've used loads of different colors. So you, if you wanna look for other colors, other items, you can check out those videos. Yeah, minimum three items in your basket. And then at the checkout, just make sure you click pay as you go and then the code should be automatically applied. You can only do it once, so it's one use per customer. Um, so you can't buy loads of stuff, use a discount, and then do it again. It's one per customer. The code is melis 50 jam I will link all of the details in the description box below. If there are other ways that you've used gel polishes, comment it down in the comment section. I would love to know, because I really enjoyed doing the candle one. The padlock and the water cap, they're like little tips and tricks that I've used for you know I've used before making stuff look pretty like this I've never done that before so if you found any other ways um, 
comment it down below and yeah that's it from me today bye